Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I have had been having a lot of fun recently with Unicorn Spit. So today we're going to do another pour with that. Um, I actually used it on my last live video. So I have some already mixed up. I'll tell you the colors real quick and I'm gonna also describe what Unicorn Spit is. So Unicorn Spit is a gel. Um, here you can see it says gel, stain, and glaze. So um, it's not an acrylic paint. It is multi-surface use. You can use it on wood. You can use it on all kinds of surfaces. And think of it more like a stain. Like think of it kind of like watercolor paint. It's not acrylic paint, so it, it reacts a bit differently. Um, and the Floetrol does change the color of it. So this is actually the gold. So it is sparkly, but it looks yellow. And then we have turquoise. We've got blue, and then we have a metallic purple as well, so it's sparkly. And how I mixed these is 50-50 with Floetrol and Unicorn Spit, and then just a tiny, tiny bit of water. You actually really hardly need any for these. So I have a little bit left in my bowl here from the last Unicorn Spit painting that I did. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that again. And here we go. So this is the gold. Like I said, it's like pretty yellow. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna go in with the blue and then the turquoise and then some purple. And then I'm gonna go back to that gold. In the last painting I did, the gold just kind of completely disappeared. All right, that should be plenty. And I think you know, I'm gonna add just Smidge more of this blue. I'm hoping to get some cool green. Um, but I think with this, I'm going to do a wreck -a ring technique. Um, so let's go ahead and start with that. But this stuff can look really cool as a flip cup or any other techniques. If you guys would like to see me do a flip cup with this next, let me know. And I will go ahead. Okay. So there's our tree ring. Um, I did I actually mixed these a couple days ago and I didn't add anything since then So it does seem like it could have possibly used a little bit more water, but I think we'll be totally fine I'm gonna go ahead and just bring my stick through here And one more time Nope, I like that. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. This is an eight by 10 canvas. So I used about five ounces of my mixture. All right, so a few important things here because like I said, this is a stain. It is not a paint. So it is water activated. Um, if, you, if this dries, you come back a month later and you get some water on it, it will reactivate just like watercolor would or something similar. Oh, I really like this. This is so pretty. Um, which also means you need to use, um, you need to be careful when you seal it. I've honestly tried all kinds of things to seal it. And you know what? If anyone has had really good success with sealing these, let me know. Um, I have found that the best method is to just spray it with... Um, a, just a, a spray sealer in very light coats but do several really light coats so you're not saturating it you're just giving it a light coat do that several times and then if you want you can add resin or something else on top of that um if you seal it with just like a varnish um you will likely just reactivate it reactivate it and it will mainly it'll make the colors fade but it'll still look cool either way. I hope this, this is making sense. Um, it's a little bit of a, it's just a different beast. It's not acrylic paint, but look how beautiful that is. Um, I'm gonna bring you in for a close up so that you can see, cause there's a lot of glitteriness in here. It's really pretty. So we'll do our close up. All right, so starting in our lower right hand corner here, I'm gonna go to a bit of an angle so hopefully you can see that sparkliness 
and I definitely got the green I was hoping for. So this stuff is a lot of fun, um, has a lot of different applications. You can use it with resin, absolutely. Um, and like I said, you can even paint wood with this stuff. Um, in terms of where you can get it, uh, they actually have it. It's not at like Michael's and stuff. Hold on, I'm going to put the phone back. But they definitely have it on Amazon. So if you check the link down in the description, I'll have my store there. You can definitely get it there. Um, there's other like individual art websites you can get it from. And then I believe you can get it from like Home Depot. Because like I said, people use it for wood projects and stuff like that. So check your local like home improvement stores like Home Depot, Lowe's and stuff like that. They will likely have it. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see the flip cup method with uh, the unicorn spit. And I will see you all next time.